This video will show you how easy it is to set up your new webcam. Here's my new webcam. It's a Logitech C922, still in the box. So let's take it out and see just what we get. It's all packaged nicely in here. At the top, we have the new webcam. Okay, packaging is off. Now we can see how it's going to clip onto the computer. I'll show you that later. Back here you can see this is how it can be put onto a tripod. Also have the USB that we're going to plug in and the cord. More fun things to find in the box. Okay, comes with some instructions, information, and then also in this part, this particular webcam comes with a little tripod. So not all webcams do, this is just optional so that we could hook up. Right here you can see this is what hooks up onto the tripod if you want to use it off your computer. So let's take our new webcam and hook it to the computer. There's a few more pieces of plastic I need to take off, so look for any leftover pieces of plastic. Everything's all cleaned off. The reason that I got a webcam was because what I have been using is the camera on my laptop, which works okay, but it's not the best. And what I like to do is to be able to do zoom on my big monitor that's connected to my laptop and put the, the webcam up here. First thing we're going to do is just plug this webcam in, take this little twisty off the cord. The webcam comes with a USB plug, so I have a USB connector. Find the USB port on my computer, and I just plug it in. We get a little message that says setting up device. And now it says that, that Norton has allowed access to Google Chrome and my web camera. Just for testing things out, in comparison's sake, I'm going to set it up here for now. So that's all there is to it. Eventually, I'm going to set it up right over here. And I could also use that little tripod that came with it. I'm going to set it right here. And let's do some testing. I got this new web camera so I could use it for Zoom when I do online classes, when I do recording with Zoom to make videos. I've turned on Zoom and the new camera is being used. I can tell because if I go down here and open up the menu by the video camera, my C922 is the one being used. Let me show you the difference if I use setup to use the camera on my laptop. Look at that. Whole different lighting. Now the angle is because of the way I have the camera tilted slightly down on the webcam so it gives me some options there and I have it slightly off to the side so it's not covering up the camera. But look at that, look at the, the, the coloring, look at how clear it is and let's switch it back. I think that's just amazingly sharper and I like the coloring a lot better. It was really easy just to plug it in and go, Zoom found the camera for me and I was all set. There are times when you plug in your web camera and Zoom or some other app may not find it. So let me show you what to do in case that happens to you. So if you open up Zoom or some other app and it doesn't see your new webcam, you want to find your camera privacy settings. I typed in camera and that was one of the choices that came up to me. 
open up the camera privacy settings. Now I'm on a Windows computer, so an Apple is going to be a little different from this, but it'll find the same kind of settings. You want to make sure that apps have access to your camera. And then you can go down and make sure the specific app that you want to use the camera with is turned on. So you have lots of different choices down here. Here you can see Zoom, which is what I would want to make sure is on, and it's on. So that's what you do if the camera doesn't show up in the list of choices or you're not seeing yourself in some other app after you plug in your web camera. It was super simple to install this web camera and get it going. I hope you have just as much fun with yours.